In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about what Canvas Studio is and how it can be used in a couple of different ways within Canvas. If you take a look at the left over here, you'll see the Canvas Studio icon. And what this is, is it's a, a tool that's set up inside of Canvas to help you, A, keep a, a repository of videos, and B, also um, use these in discussions and even some quizzes as well. So before we get into the technicals of how you create these videos, what I'd like to do is just give you a quick tour on how they were used within Canvas course. So let's take a look at this first piece here. And, and this is part of a bigger lesson on how fear affects us um, biologically, right? So the first part of the lesson is just an engaged piece where we're trying to get the students to think a little bit about what this uh, lesson might be about. So there's a question and you can see that the, the video was placed here in, and we can even turn captions on as part of what Canvas Studio can do. So this video is explaining what we're going to be learning for the day and introducing the question here. Now this was placed into a discussion within Canvas. And so that means that students would be able to come down here and click reply and then give their response to the question right here. Let's take a look at a second example. In this example here, what we have is more of the direct teach piece of the lesson. So a video was imported into the Canvas Studio from YouTube and we left comments on. So let, let's go back up a second here. We have a video, Canvas Studio video that was included as part of the directions explaining what to do with this video. We're using a while and what strategy with this video and all of that's explained here. But basically what the students do is they're, they're gonna watch the video one time. The second time they go back and watch this video, they're gonna leave two different comments using this area down here. Now, as the video plays and they type in a comment, it actually pauses the video and it adds the comment here that you can see, but it also adds these little blue bubbles along the timeline of the video. These are pretty cool because then you get an idea of what the students are noticing and what they're commenting on specifically as it relates to the video. But also as students watch these videos, they can get to see the, the, their classmates' comments come up along the timeline as well. Again, these are opportunities for students to click reply and also they pose questions to have other students answer those questions or engage in communication. Let's take a look at the third example here of how Canvas Studio was used in this lesson. So this one was uh, an example. Let's go ahead and click play so you can take a look at it. This is an example of a Google Slides that was uh, screencastified. And so in it, it, as it plays, you know, I'm, I'm giving some directions on and talking a little bit about what we learned throughout the lesson. When the students get to one of these blue dots, you'll see that a question pops up. So what we've done is we've created a video and turned it into a quiz using Canvas Studio. These quizzes can be your own original videos or you can also import these in from YouTube as well. So you'll learn a little bit more about this, but this is kind of a nice feature because as students answer these questions, it can self grade and those get automatically placed into the grade book. So it's a really nice time saving feature and also a great way to give some instant feedback to students. As you continue the lesson today, you'll learn more about how Canvas Studio works and how you can implement it with your classes.